Welcome everybody. Uh, today we are going to be doing Wrong World again. Last time I hit it in this pretty hard, but we're going to try again on normal. Um, I'm using quick start mode, which I unlocked, is one of the unlockable things here. That's the XP thing. Somebody told me what I really want to do is play on easy mode once I unlock all five things. But I think I have one last thing to unlock, so we're gonna we're gonna try it. Uh, some new things I've learned. Worry less about my house. Worry more about food. Uh, now this is gonna be a let's play series. We're gonna see how we do on long world. Our long or on wrong world. Our long term goal is to survive. Um, instead of going and fixing our ship, or maybe, who knows, I don't know, there's hiding super secret stuff, there are some odd things that I have, oh, look at how cute I am, I forgot, yeah, let's celebrate for a minute, guys, we have over 100 subscribers now, so I'm excited about this, so thank you, wonderful people out there, oh, shit, that's a big monster, that is a yeti. I don't think I wound up rumbling with. So we're basically going to grab some stuff and worry about getting enough stuff together here to make a fishing rod. Fish, grab all the stuff I can. All the bits. I was told to worry about food more than shelter at first and get a cache of food going. It uh, was a survival tip that uh, I was told in the very friendly Discord, actually, for this game. Uh, if you have not... Yeah, got a copy of Wrong World. Again, this was one that I highly recommended to people, and that doesn't change. I still recommend it. Um, okay, now I, 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 it does save here and there for you, which may seem annoying. I don't think he's loving. I also learned, by the way, that I, there's like a move you can do. Uh, I think it's if you hit space while you're, like, about to attack, you do some cool ninja rolly moves. So your guy basically knows martial arts. Look at that ass whoopery we have done, guys. Um, I have actually forgotten the rest of the controls. <laughs> I'm sure the dev is happy about that. Um, no, the dev is actually quite quite nice, and uh, everybody in the Discord, a little shout out to you guys, has been friggin' amazing, and oh my shit, I have a decent tour off the bat. So, barrels, guys, barrels, let's look for more barrels, and some, that's a potato right there, I think. Um, one thing that I liked about Ron World, I said it before, is that I love the humor, I think it is great, um, and I stick with that contention that I think it is great. Um, now at night some spooky dookies come out, and they are called, uh, ground slugs, I think. You can also replant trees, but right now we're gonna worry instead about, um, it's about the only weapon I got, so we're gonna use it on this little thing. This is meats, but I'm actually gonna use him not to eat. We're gonna use him to craft some bait to fish and cook the fish. This blob fish do pretty good with your, uh, with your stuff, so let's whoopify him. I don't think I did this right, but I know if I, oh no, I did. There was a thing there where I locked onto him. Oh no, where's my meat? I only got some leather. Well, shit's bit. Um, maybe this is not going to be my great survival, but I will try. I will try, damn it. I will rage against the dying of the, uh, of the teddy bear alien. He shall not die on my watch. I shall take care of you, little guy. Um, who I, I believe I called Gary, then at one point I called him Larry. He has had a few names. I don't know. Um, Let's get re familiar with the controls because I have forgotten quite honestly. And plus, it does us all good to know, doesn't it? Inventory is E. Crafting is Q. Alright. Uh, so, inventory E. Easy. There we go. Alright, here. So, potatoid. You got a little hunger. 
I think we're gonna eat the potato for now. Um, now crafting was what? Q. Uh, let's start here with a fishing rod. I think I can actually still cook without bait, like you actually catch stuff without bait, but another thing that I feel like I should at least have is an ass whoopery staff. So if I have that, let's do that, and then we'll worry Hiya! about that. Um, construction mode, which I think is friggin' adorable. And I'll get into all that. That's, uh, check my other video. If you haven't seen that, I've, I've delved into that already. But a fishing rod I was told to make early. So I am listening. Uh, to the advice of the senseis. Look at him shake that. He's like, can you see this shit? You don't mess with me with this shit. Man, it's a big rock. Uh, Alright. In case you're wondering why I'm sighing, there were a bunch of jokes I could have made about that, but none of them would have been halfway appropriate or even decent, so I'm not doing them. And yes, if you notice, I'm wearing the Space Cat uh, mask. This is actually the second requested mask after my normal Bones mask that you all like a lot. Um, and I think that's kind of cool. I'm happy that you guys have taken a shine to Space Cat mask, because I actually got this one. Uh, and I did nickname it Space Cat, a mask, actually, uh, in honor of what I originally was calling my cat before I finally told you weirdos his real name, which is Pumpkin. Um, Mutant Dog's real name is Little Boy. He is sleeping right now. In the background, just all stretched out, we got the AC on. It's a little crazy in, uh, in, in our area today. Anyways, survival. We are... Grabbing things to build things. Um, one of the things I was told to do early on in this game is, of course, if I'm going to set up a camp, I need to figure out where. Last time I took way too much time with my home. And while I had a great home, I was starving to death because I really didn't... I didn't focus on food, and it really shouldn't have been as big a deal as it was to get food. But I... I made it a bigger deal like an idiot. I went out and did that. There's a ship off that shore. So I think this is what we're gonna do. This seems like relatively flat land. So if I can, we are going to build just a single plot here so I know where my house is going to go. And now we're gonna move it. And let's move it about here, we want to back a little bit, I feel. Um, and then, one thing that I like is that you can actually use the period in the comma just to set this puppy down, and done. And there we go. So that is my home skillet. My home away from home. Uh, not doing much right now. We're going to go and attack some monsters, see if I can get some grub, some more resources. Oh, mushroom. God, of course you asshole. Ah, lordy. So, mushrooms, man. Mushrooms, cook mushrooms. Grab mushrooms, get mushrooms. Mushrooms up your food a lot. I did learn that. Three mushrooms and a campfire. Hello. Why? I will call you George. And I will hug you and love you and cuddle you forever. Now, come on, guys, you know what that's from, please. If you don't, then Millennial Identified, clearly. But, um, let me just say this. It's not, I, I joke about Millennials a lot. It's not that I have a great disdain for Millennials. There are a lot of you that are big dreamers and go-getters, and I highly support that as somebody who has had to work with his hands his whole damn life. Um, I just, uh, I tend to not like the... What I call the a boss touch with reality and expect everything to be handed to me, my money is. Uh, I don't really have any sort of love for that nonsense. But anyways, enough about serious shit. This is a funny game. Full of funny things. Um, I love the enemies in this game, for example. The rock is funny as hell, and I don't care how serious you are. The rock is funny, man. 
Not the not the actor necessarily. Although I, he's I, from everything I've heard from all accords, he's pretty funny. People have told me. Um, yes, I've actually known a few people who have met said Rock and said that he is actually quite hilarious. So there you go. Jealous? Uh, but no, seriously, he's supposed to be quite a nice guy and very funny. So I ain't got anything bad to say about him. Uh, mostly because he could crush me like a fly. I mean, I don't care how big you are. That dude is on a whole nother level of giant. Um, but also because I have genuinely, honestly heard he is quite a humble, decent person. Uh, from a few friends of mine who have actually had the pleasure to meet him. Uh, surprisingly, actually, Adam Sandler is supposed to be very friendly. I knew people who met him in Royal Oak, Michigan, uh, in a coffee house, and, uh, said he took time out of his day and invited them all over and asked them how they were and asked them about their day and stuff they were up to and was just really attentive you know and uh, uh, that's pretty damn cool when you hear about celebrities that aren't full of themselves and just uh, and this is like wedding season your Adam Sandler when he was pretty up there this was a big you know he was he was Pretty damn popular. He could have been a real douche, and instead he was pretty nice to my friends, so... Uh, I've always respected that highly, because, you know, you always hear about the bad ones, so I'm not gonna say names, <laughs> Bruce Willis, but... You do hear about a few, here and there. Uh, let's go get my food up now. So first, we're gonna need to build a campfire. This will be in lieu of a stove. Uh, I don't think a smoker can cook, can it? No. Alright. First things first, we need a campfire. Boom. Now, with the campfire, um, we are going to cook some food. And for the food, we have mushroom soup. And this is what I'm talking about, guys. This is where it's at. So I was told to do stuff like this first, worry about building the home second, so we're going to do half and half here. Um, now these are probably going to be longer videos, I'll warn you. Should a series have its own playlist? That's a question for you guys. You guys let me know. Um, I feel if I get big enough with these, and it may. For now, we're going to see. Right now, I'm just kind of I'm seeing how it goes. Uh, what's this say? Meat is murder. Tasty, tasty murder. Ain't that the truth? Ah, uh, whatever. Get over it, guys. It's just a game. So first up, let's put our ninja staff there. We're gonna put this here. I'm gonna keep that open for an axe, and we're gonna put a fishing rod for uh, for a tool bar, just so I know when I do my my stuff here. Let me show you how fishing works, in case you forgot. I wonder if I die if I go out there. Do you guys think I could die, or should I just go for it? Should I just try to get out there? Is it as far away as it looks? Sure, we're going. Let's just remember that big rock there, shall we? Oh, oh my god! Oh my god, there's shit there. There is shit in the water. Oh no! Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> you son of a bitch! I failed at life. We're not giving up yet. So see, this is a quick start one. This is a teleporter beam. That's sneakers. Uh, this is a repulsion turret. And this one I have not done, and I'm determined to get this. So we're playing again. We're playing. We're going to keep going in this game until we can survive and uh, get a little hot going and all that. Easy mode doesn't erase your your stuff. So quick start mode I'm using each time. I don't care if it lessens my XP, whatever. Um, so now I know. The water? Scary shit. Watch the water. I wondered why that looks so easy to get to. Now I know. Uh, I think a head attacked me. That was either that or some satanic 
like rubber duck from hell. That was. <laughs> like a lot. That was kind of funny. Checking the phone. Always got to check the phone. You guys know how that goes. Um. And a hello out there to all of you watching, by the way. I just want to throw that out there. Hope you guys are having a pleasant day. Uh, I am first up going to make the attack thing and the fishing rod right off the bat before I do anything else with wood. Because I feel like that's a necessity. Um, I believe I am on radioactive ground is what this is, if I remember right, which I do. I think I do. I don't want to be like a dick about it and be like, oh, I know more than you. Uh, I, I, I don't. But I do remember that I was told and we're sticking with the contention that I, the wooden staff necessarily not as important, but definitely fishing rod and some bait will get us more num nums in the long run. So instead of just eating the meats from that sort of thing, what I really want to do here is make sure that I'm making good use of that. So the fishing rod will be number four. This will be number one. These two will be tools. Like me, a tool. And uh, we will get, uh, yeah, I call myself a tool. What of it? It's funny. And we will see how we go. So this is part two of a uh, game here of Wrong World. I am Bones, your host on this little weird adventure. I hope you guys are enjoying yourself. How are you today? Thank you for joining me on this weirdness. Um, I have actually rather enjoyed this game. Uh, it has not left my computer since I did my last video of it. Um, and I have goofed around in the Discord channel you can say hi to me in if you if you are a fan of uh, Bones and Gary and you see me in there, then say hi or say hi to uh, the dev. The dev goes in there too, and he's a pretty nice person. Um, but most people in that Discord are quite friendly and will give you good advice and help you out as they helped me out, help me figure out how to survive a bit and do things um, because I am quite awful at it. Uh, now again, I'm looking for mushrooms. I saw a pig creature off in the distance. We're going to try to make it to him before nightfall and slaughter him and make bait. And I was wrong. I did not get to him before nightfall. But we're still going to grab as much shit as we can right off the bat here. Because uh, I would rather do that now. Now they're funny vines. That's what I call them. Uh, and they are, they are just ridiculously goofy. Like you can tell that they are... They are literally idiots. Um, and it is hilarious to laugh at, frankly. I find it very funny. I don't know if that was the intention, but I get the uh, feeling from reading the dev's comments and all this that everything in this is meant to be funny and lighthearted, so don't take it too serious. Enjoy playing it, and if you die a lot, that's what the XP is for until you can either hit easy mode, which I do plan to switch to, I normally do permadeath in games, but in one more I craft things, I, I feel like I can see why people get annoyed with it. Um, and it, it might just be me. I just I'm having a little trouble with the num num situation in this game. So until I get a better feel for it, maybe I will switch over to easy eventually, and then switch back once I become a pro at wrong world although I'm thinking by that time people have thrown other things now that there in the background you see moving along that looks like snot or something from one of those mucinex commercials is actually a slug um, they're a pain in the ass they appear at night and if you have a house and your house is not totally walled up you will be dealing with them so there's a slug ah um, however, there are some goodies that you can get from these slugs, so I always recommend killing them. Um, those are flowers. And I don't have a greenhouse right now. So that slug was a useless piece of shit. But there may be others that are better. I don't know. Let me go near Piglet here. I want to move where the water is. That's all I that actually reminds me of the movie PCU. If any of you remember the movie PCU, can you show me where the Panthers is? It's an old joke. 
if you don't remember PCU, you guys should definitely watch it because I feel like with our climate nowadays, those jokes, super relevant. Uh, I can't, I, like, I'm honestly not joking you. They are really, really relevant to the current state of, like, the whole safe, uh, safe space thing and all journalism. I don't know. Look, whatever y'all want to believe in, that's cool. My advice to everybody on Earth is simple. Just don't be dicks to each other. That's it, man. Just, you know, get along. Don't be assholes. If you got a problem with somebody, tell the person. Don't be pansies about it. Uh, and you'll do just fine with that philosophy. Just try not to be a dick. Don't be a dick to each other. It's pretty easy in life. And don't forget to laugh. You know, obviously, you got games like this out there that are great games that uh, I think are hilarious, and uh, I thoroughly enjoy this game. I cannot actually tell you how much I enjoy this game, but I believe me when I say it is quite a bit. Now, I noticed anything I knocked in the water was dead, and now I know why, now that I know what's in the water. That is a satellite. We're gonna investigate that soon, but I feel like this might not be a bad spot for home base, guys. Surrounded on all sides by things. Um, there's a little river here, nothing too huge that I'd get lost in. Um, old man river. I feel like I could definitely hang with this. Uh, I feel like there's probably more water over there, but... This is where I'm gonna set up home base, I think. Yeah, we're gonna do that. So again, I'm not doing a bunch. How much wood do I have? Please don't make jokes. Perverts. Okay. Uh, I knew one of you was gonna say something. Don't act like you weren't. I heard you. You know who you are there. Barry. Alright. Uh, Right now, somebody's thinking, what in the hell is he talking about? I don't know either. I never know what I'm talking about. And I still do jokes. So, yeah. Alright. So, now, we are going to build our campfire. The first thing we're building here. Although I was told what I really need to be building is a... a uh, another thing that is not a campfire. So, first is first. Let's, uh... Let's eat... And then we're going to... What do you stop that shit? And we're going to cook. I like how he's like warming his little... Little tootsies near the campfire. Now again, let me show you what this does for now, guys, alright? For now, boom. Just that easy, I got some wells. And I can put a ceiling on this too. And just that easy, I have a little one room... Uh, cozy area here. So that's good. And at night I can come in here and actually close myself in. But, uh, one thing we're going to do first is... Okay. Let me get maybe too late to fish. I think I have done this already. Now, fishing works. Uh, I have bait I'm using. You can fish without bait and sometimes still get good stuff. Sometimes not. But, I will put this here. When it turns green. And reel in. And I, yeah! Yeah! And I like that in this game there's a different fishing mechanic. Instead of just clicking the mouse a bunch or yanking back on the mouse. Uh, I, I'll tell you what I would like to see in a fishing game. Personally, is I would like... If you don't know what a blobfish is, you don't know why I'm laughing. But they are ugly as hell. Um, so I think it's hilarious that they are like the main food source for this game is a blobfish because god lordy are they just they didn't just get beat with the ugly stick they got their ass whooped with the ugly stick they are awful looking little things <laughs> unfortunate let's call them unfortunate let's be nice about it they're just unfortunate looking but holy cow how unfortunate um, now there's a lot I was reading, 
some things that I have heard around the Discord so that you guys know. I've heard that down the road there will be more house customization that the dev would like to put in. Um, that is something in the future. There are some other silly ideas that I don't want to spoil. Join the Discord. Join the Discord. You get the inside scoop on this stuff, man. I don't want to spoil things, but um, some pretty cool stuff that I've read that I think you all will enjoy. Um, so we are fishing now. I'm looking for another bobfish. Got an old boot. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, that's shitty. No, it's not. The old boot actually does something very good for me. And I'm going to show you what the old boot does. The old boot uh, turns into leather. Uh, now the goldfish here. I'm going to be a dick about it here and just eat the fish as they are. Partially because that's what I got them for. Um, I'm also going to make some more bait while I'm at it because I think fishing is a good way to go. And although the cooked meat does okay, the mushroom soup does good. The blob fish, as you see here, do better, so it makes more sense to me to make a bait out of the meats than it does anything else. Um, so there's some trees over there we're going to hack down and make a second space and a workbench. So we're going to go ahead and get that done. I'm also going to move the campfire. No, you shit. I forgot, i got to like, move it. I guess let it go, and it's moved. So, see, that's not too bad, guys. Um, comparatively, and other games I've seen like this, I feel like this one is pretty damn easy to get the hang of when it comes down to stuff you're doing. Yes, I could use the wood to make some other tools, but... I'm... Oh, shit. Forgot. Sometimes in trees, these little sons of bitches come out. No time to even grab my staff and surprise me. There's no way that didn't sound like an innuendo, is there? And I just, I'm not going to get away without that. Sounded like an innuendo. Did not have time to grab my staff. Good, good one, good one. See, even, even the uh, pumpkin back there is laughing at me. Come on! You might see him. Sometimes he'll hop on my lap during these videos. Especially when I have the cat mask on, I feel like he actually responds to the cat mask. Which is creepy in a way, guys, because... He's a very feral little cat, and, uh, he's a tough cat, man. Like, everybody who knows this cat knows. You ever heard that song, Stray Cat Strut? That, that's him back there. He's, he is the cat of Stray Cat Strut. He's a tough, tough cat. Um, and he lets you know it. Now, I feel like I don't have whatever I need. But I also feel, is that just a button? Get, get the hell out of it. Oh my god, I did something. Okay, so I need wiring to fix whatever that is, so... Yes, we found a secret, guys. Freaking cool. Oh god, mushrooms, mushrooms. Yes, mushrooms. We love mushrooms. Every time we can get mushrooms, we want mushrooms. There's a flapple. I probably wasted uh, eating that too early. Hold on, how much more do I have already? Alright. Need 10 for that. And then 20 for this bench, so... First 20 goes toward that bench. I'm trying to get at least 10 more for a second uh, piece of home. Before I try to do it all too quick, and I'll be honest, I had a 6... I do a 6x6 six six home normally. I'm um, gonna had that done before and had a wooden door and then starved to death. So what was my lesson to be learned? Knock it the fuck off and do this in sections. So... Here's how we're going to do this. We're going to grab 30 pieces of wood, set up a second thing for that, and then do the workbench. Because the workbench unlocks tools that you can use that last quite a while longer, and it's more worth it, frankly. Um, I did not get all the wood I needed there. But we're still going to at least start by putting this one up. Because uh, I'm a dumbass, and this is the way I want to do it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I know this is not the brightest of ideas to do right off the bat. I should probably work on a workbench. But I also know 
right off the bat that I don't want monsters in my damn house. So we're going to take this. We're going to do this. You son of a bitch. And then we're going to wall myself. There we go. And then we just wall ourselves in for the evening. I like a little campfire. And that gives me 12 wood. So, uh, do I have anything I can cook? No. I need more bugfish. But this also stops the slugs from fitting me. So we got a little home going on here. Oh, okay. Would have been good if I would have decided to put maybe like a roof on that one. Would have been smart, eh? Um. You can see there's some coloring options with all that, too. I'm not trying to get fancy with that right now. I, I love the little guy's uh, face there. There's a whole helmet thing you can do. And uh, i tell you what, we're going to save it here for now. This is going to be our first big survival attempt at this instead of just playing around with it and reviewing it. So this is... Wrong world, I am Bones. Thank you guys so much for watching part two of this. Please be sure to give a thumbs up if you dig it. And uh, yeah, we will uh, see you guys on the next one. I'm sure I'll keep going with part three and four into a series and see, see how I end up. We'll see. My dream is to have a self-sufficient little alien guy. Alright. So there we go. You guys have a great day, and thank you for watching.